Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, so today we are gonna be talking all about the different products that I am using at the moment to make sure that my skin is protected and make sure that my skin doesn't develop eczema. So just a note to say that if I was having a lot, a lot of flare ups, I might be using slightly different products. But again, I would say that most of the products I use are very kind of eczema friendly anyway. So if you are somebody who is having flare ups at the moment, I, at least hopefully some of these should be interesting for you. Another thing I should also mention is that my skin likes to rotate and use different products. I think my skin for some reason gets quite irritated if I overuse any one particular product. Even though I like to think of <laughs> my skincare routine as quite minimal, actually I use a lot of different products. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my morning face routine, my evening face routine, what I use in the shower, and also just some random products that I use on my body or in my hair, or just kind of other things that I wanted to mention. On the whole, I follow a kind of uh, a three, three word acronym, should we say? So FML, very fitting, but um, F being for fragrance free, I find that fragrance does tend to irritate my skin, uh, which is also something that I think back in the day when I was kind of slightly obsessed with everything being natural, I actually realized that things that are natural often have a lot of essential oils. They have a lot of kind of fragrances in them that makes them smell very nice, but actually it's not very good if, if you have very sensitive skin like myself. So the M in FML stands for moisturizing. Uh, I think it's kind of stating the obvious, but I personally have extremely dry skin, not just dry skin, but also dry hair and dry nails. So naturally I do need to kind of replenish that moisture as well. And the final one is L. So L is for light. So generally I don't use a lot of very thick products and that's for two reasons. The first is because actually if I use, for example, if I have a dry patch and I use a very thick cream on top of it, it can actually make the skin more dry once that cream has kind of worn off. The second thing I, is I also have slightly acne prone skin, which is special and fun. So <laughs> I generally try to use things that are light as well. Now, I just wanna say that obviously I don't follow that you know, religiously. There are certain exceptions that you will see as I go through the products. Before we kick off as well, I just wanna say thank you all so much for uh, my lovely new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you and I really like it when you guys uh, kind of leave comments and questions and things like that. Really uh, makes me feel like what I'm doing is, <laughs> is worthwhile. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, please do just click the subscribe button uh, and I think there's a bell and a notification button as well so you don't miss any of my other videos. And with that, let's get on with the video. So I just got out of the shower about 30 to 45 minutes ago. Normally I do have to put product on pretty much as soon as I'm out of the shower because um, as my skin dries, it gets very dry. So I actually <laughs> did my face routine and then I was faffing around too much with the camera so I'm having to redo it now. So the first thing I do is when I'm actually in the shower, I wash my face with this very gentle cleanser. So this is the Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser. So that's what I kind of use to, to kind of wash my face uh, in the morning. And then what I do, I actually use uh, this serum. So this is a hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 serum. So hyaluronic acid is really good for people with dry skin because it kind of um, draws together the moisture particles in your skin. So I'll just kind of put that all over. And once I've kind of let that sort of dry a little bit, I will then put another moisturizer. Usually this isn't quite enough, like usually my skin does need something extra on top of this. And at the moment I am using Clinique. The dramatically different moisturizing lotion. Um, I know they have a few different variants of this. I really like Clinique as a brand because they spend a lot of time and a lot of research uh, into making sure that their products are hypoallergenic and it works very well on my skin. So I do actually use um, a couple of uh, Clinique products. So let's just pop that on. And I will bring it down all the way to my neck as well. My neck is usually quite dry. So then after I put on my moisturizer, I will then use an SPF because I live in a very sunny country and also you should be getting into an SPF habit anyway. It took me a really long time to find an SPF that works for my skin. So I use this one, it's the Heliocare 360 Gel Oil Free. So that's the important part. I think the fact that it is oil free is the thing that helps me to, to not break out when I use it. I just put a little bit on my finger like that. And then like that. And then it goes all over my face. 
So it does come out like a little bit greasy, but not too bad. And after a while, I'd say after like 10, 15 minutes, it's usually sunk in and then I can kind of apply makeup on top of that. Before I put on some makeup, I'm also gonna talk about one other thing that I did just as I came out of the shower. I'm sort of jumping around a little bit here, but I just wanna show you. So I used this um, Olaplex number no. six in my hair, which is the, the kind of leave-in conditioner. So again, I find that this is actually weird enough because I think it is moisturizing. It kind of helps my hands as well, weirdly enough, as, as my hair. And this is something I actually already put in because you can see my hair dries so quickly, it's basically already dry. I'm going to do my face, then we can talk about the rest of the products. So I will see you in a second. Right, okay, I am back. So I have done my face, done my makeup. I do want to mention a couple other things um, with the kind of, I guess, the, the daytime face routine. So as you can probably see, it is a little bit, I'd say, maybe a little bit thicker, which is really good because it kind of provides that moisture throughout the day. But sometimes I do feel like if I, if I, I don't know, if I have like a few little breakouts or if I want something a little bit lighter, or for example, I am going to exercise in the morning, then obviously I don't want to put like a, a kind of a, a thick layer of moisturizer on top, especially if you're going to get sweaty, it gets a bit gross. What I use then in instead is if it's in the morning and I'm gonna go exercise, then I'll still wash my face with the Cetaphil, but I might use this, uh, this little spray here, which is again, it's a Clinique product. It's called the Moisture Surge Face Spray and I literally just go ch -ch -ch and then I kind of off I go. Or if I'm not doing exercise or if I feel like I need something just like a little bit thicker, but not quite as thick as this one, then I will go, go for this one which is also Clinique, and it is the Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. So I think this one is also oil free. So I just wanted to kind of mention those two products. Um, I also just want to mention, obviously at the moment I am pregnant, so I'm trying to keep the products that I use quite minimal, but I will also sometimes use this vitamin C serum in the morning. So this one that I use is the Dr. Dennis Gross. 15% uh, vitamin C, uh, firm and bright serum. And vitamin C is very good because it is very anti-aging. So it kind of acts as like an antioxidant and helps to neutralize some of the pollutants uh, and some of the, the free radicals that get produced in our skin throughout the day. Oh, and one other thing I should mention as well is if I'm in the UK or if I'm in Europe where the weather is much colder and I feel like my skin needs a bit more protection from the cold weather, then I will use this one. And I can use this, I kind of just apply this quite liberally, so throughout the day. It is the 24 Hour Cream by eCooking, which is a funny name. I actually found this when I was in uh, on holiday uh, in Copenhagen because my skin was super dry that weekend and I just ran into a pharmacy and I was like, oh, I just need something for my face. What can I use? They recommended this and it has served me well. So I've used this for a few years as well. Okay, so those are kind of all the daytime things. Um, so why don't we talk about the evening routine? I use a different cleanser in the evening and the one I use is this one. So this is the La Roche-Posay Toleran, no, Tolerian Ultra Gel Mousson. Sorry, I'll, I'll read the English. <laughs> okay, Tolerian Ultra Dermohydrating Foaming Gel. It says it's a foaming gel, but really it doesn't foam at all. Um, it's a very, very kind of mild, mild, mild cleansing gel. Um, so La Roche-Posay is quite a good brand because they have a lot of different uh, product lines. Tolerian is one I think that's like sort of especially made for sensitive to ultra sensitive skin. And I only need like a tiny, tiny bit. This lasts for ages. Uh, and I do feel like it kind of cleans um, quite a lot better. Then this one, this one does clean. It's, it's not that it doesn't clean, it's just that this one I feel like is a little bit more, um, you can actually feel that it's a little bit kind of moisturizing. And I don't know why, but sometimes in the evening I just wanna feel properly squeaky clean. So this is the one that I use. Once I have, you know, just washed off my makeup, my makeup is very, very water soluble. So I don't need to use like an extra cleanser or anything. Then what I've started using is, this is something that I discovered quite uh, recently. This is Origins Drink Up Intensive 
overnight hydrating mask. I thought that this would make me break out because it is a little bit thicker and it's like an overnight hydrating mask. But amazingly, it hasn't. And I really, really, really like it. I know that I said at the beginning of the video that I go usually go for fragrance free. I don't think one, this one is fragrance free. Usually when they have avocado or olive oil or things like that, they will normally put fragrance in it but this one has been working really, really well for my skin. Okay, so let's now talk about what I actually use in the shower, because actually this is something that I have recently switched up and I feel like this has made a big, big, big difference. This was really, really important when I was actually having a lot of flare ups and I was finding that I was reacting to a lot of different products. I actually threw out, I didn't throw out, I donated all of my old products because I found that the fragrance in them was really, really irritating my skin. Uh, at the time I had a lot, a lot of eczema all over my hands and it was really like every time I washed my hair, I found that it would really irritate my skin. And I've started using this new brand called Vanny Cream. And I literally found this on Amazon and I Googled, I think I just looked up kind of fragrance free, everything free. This is the brand that kind of came up. There's no fragrance in it whatsoever. They are also kind of free of lots of things. So things like dye, fragrance, masking fragrance, I don't know what that is, lanolin, protein, parabens, formaldehyde releases, sulfate, betaine, and gluten. I don't know what half of these things are or what they would do for your skin, but the point is these are super, 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 super mild. If I'm totally honest, it's not like the nicest shampoo and conditioner you'll ever use. Like this, for example, I found anything that doesn't have sulfate or some kind of replacement sulfate, it never lathers that well. So you don't get that kind of soapy texture that you normally get with normal shampoos. But I would say that has massively helped my hands. As you can see, um, I've managed to kind of keep the skin pretty clear. And I do think that this has been a huge, huge, huge contributor to that. Um, so this is definitely something that I will um, keep using. The actual body wash that I've been using, so also the, by the same brand, the Vanny Cream Gentle Body Wash. So this I really like because same as the others, like free of all the other stuff that you, I kind of mentioned before, it is also quite moisturizing. So when you come out of it, out of the shower rather, you do feel like your skin is, is a, a, a lot more kind of moisturized, feels a lot more kind of supple, especially when I use these two things together. And I do actually just use this sometimes throughout the day. Like uh, for example, if I've been doing the washing up, um, my hands get a bit dry. I will just use this very quickly and then I'll put on a, a kind of a body moisturizer uh, on top of that. Oh, sorry. Like I said last week, I get very out of breath <laughs> these days. If you are somebody who's having flare ups or you at the moment have very, very sensitive skin, it's really actually important to make sure that your skin stays clean. For that reason, it is really important to find a wash that works for your skin. You can try these. These have been really great for my skin. So to finish off, I just want to show you uh, just a kind of couple of, I guess, kind of random body creams that I really like. I should also mention that if I'm in the UK, I will put moisturizer all over my body. Usually use the Nivea. Um, I'll put a picture up somewhere here. Very rich Nivea cream because the water is very hard in London. If I don't put moisturizer all over my skin, I do find I get kind of itchy over my legs and my arms. Here in Singapore, I don't have that problem. So I don't actually need to moisturize my entire body when I get out the shower. But I do have patches, um, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, that I do need to kind of keep uh, making sure that they stay kind of nice and moisturized. So this first one here is a cream that I really like. Um, I started using it in the summer. Not super helpfully, this is actually from Sweden, but I do find that you can usually find international products online, especially if you are from Europe um, or even if you are from America, usually you can find them online. For example, this is from Denmark, but I still managed to find it somehow. If I can find a link, I'll pop it down below. It was a recommendation from my uncle who has had eczema pretty much his entire life. It has an active ingredient, lactic acid. So you have to keep it in the fridge. You don't have to keep it in the fridge, but it is more effective if you keep it in the fridge. I really, really like this. So next time I buy one of these, I'm gonna buy like a big tub of it. The second one is also, um, so again, I think this might be a Singaporean local brand. It's called Saradan, um, but there are lots of creams that have this kind of the same ingredient, which is the, the sort of the ceramide, ceramide dominant formulation. So even if you can't find this specific one, you can find other creams that have the same ingredient. This is just something that I'll pop in my bag. I'll just have ready and handy. Again, if I'm ever kind of out and I need to wash my hands, 
I will always make sure that I put some of this on because as soon as my hands get dry, start to feel that they get irritated. Okay, so I think that those are all the products that I wanted to talk about today. If you have any specific questions or comments about anything that I've talked about today, do feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I will see if I can find links to the products that I've talked about and if I can find them, I will put them in the description box as well. And in the meantime, I hope you're doing super, super well and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye. Thank you.